is the 20th letter of the alphabet. You combine the 0 and the 2, it forms the letter A. So now what we have is we have A U L I N for Turin. Um, of backwards is fo, which is four. The fourth letter of the alphabet is D. So you add a D here. So you have A U L. You have A U L I N D. So you have L A U D I N. You have laud in, and then shroud. You keep the O, the U, and D. R again is the number twelve. So the twelfth letter of the alphabet is L. You add the L here, and S is the nineteenth letter of the alphabet. H is the eighth letter of the alphabet. Nineteen minus eight is eleven. The eleventh letter of the alphabet is K. So you add the K there. So shroud of Turin becomes laud in cloud, which the Lord is coming in the cloud. The clouds or the cloud. So basically, <clears throat> the Shroud of Turin represents the Lord coming in the cloud, which is prophesied about. So we have the American flag. So you drape the red white part over the body. You have it flowing down the back, and then you drape the other part over the shoulder after you tear it in two spots as Christ did the veil, as Christ did the flag. You drape that over the body. That is the bloody robe. You take the blue part with the stars. The blue part represents the bandana. You tie that around your head. It becomes the blue turban. The stars on it represents the sticking and the poking. They represent thorns, so that becomes the crown of thorns. It also, um, the blue means black and blue, so the blue represents black. So the blue part becomes black. The star is repetitive, so it's one star. And the blackness, that blackness, that black box represents a beehive. That star represents a queen inside the beehive, a queen bee. The white represents the Caucasian race. If the Caucasians were to touch that black queen bee, the red stripes represents that blood will flow. Um, the black... Uh, square also represents that of a tablet of the iPad, as David was translated into. The one star in the middle represents to touch, so it is a it is definitely an iPad, as confirmed by the star of the touch screen. Um, so if you touch the 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 the, the, um, the representation of the iPad, which is which is it's, which is the computer, which is the internet, which is the YouTube, which is the person who is on the YouTube who is speaking truth. If you touch that, the black people are saying that you will get stung because there are bees inside that beehive that are protecting that queen bee. And if you touch that queen bee, then I guess it's what the American flag is saying, that blood will shed. I'm just reading you the American flag and giving you my interpretation of it. Um, it also represents the queen bee inside the beehive. The queen bee in the beehive represents honey. The white represents milk. The red uh, stripes represents flowing, so what it is saying is it is a land flowing with milk and honey. And that, my friends, is my interpretation of the American flag.